value of x. So the first thing we need to do is let's bring them together. So when this crosses it becomes minus x minus 1 to the power of 4, okay, is equal to 0. Okay, let's split this as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 minus x minus 1 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 as well is equal to 0. Yes, because a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. All right? Okay, so let's continue. Now we have a square. This minus this squared minus this squared. Therefore, we have a squared minus b squared. And according to the algebra identity, same thing as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So in this case, our a is x squared and our b is x minus 1 squared. So, so it's going to be x squared minus x minus 1 squared, okay? Multiplied by x squared plus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. So at this point, we have to this thing, right? So at this point, we have two values or two parts of our equation. So the first one is what? x squared minus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. That is the whole of this is equal to 0. And the second one is x squared plus x minus 1 squared is also equal to 0. Now we solve from the left hand side we have x squared minus now when you have a minus b squared according to our algebra identity a minus b all squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared that is our algebra identity therefore we are going to express this in this form okay in this case our a is x and our b Sorry, in this case, our A is X and our B is, is 1, okay? So we are going to have, this is going to be X squared. So we have X squared minus 2AB, that is 2 multiplied by X multiplied by 1, plus B squared, that is 1 squared, is equal to 0. So we are going to focus on this first case first, this case 1. So let's call this side case 1. So that is exactly what we are doing now. So if we expand this more, we have x squared minus, so we have x squared, we have minus 2x, right? Minus 2x, and we have plus what? Plus 1, because 1 squared is 1, is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite this second case somewhere, so that I can easily clean the board, and we get back to it at the due time. So x squared plus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. All right, now I can clean this because I need more space. So if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe, all right? And turn on your notification bell, please, so that you don't miss our next video. Now we have x squared minus times x squared will give us minus x squared. Minus times minus 2x will give us plus 2x. Minus times plus 1 will give us minus 1 is equal to 0. x squared minus x squared is 0. So we are left with 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to, let's transpose this minus 1 to the other side. If we do that, we have 1, right? It becomes plus 1. So let's divide by 2, divide by 2, and we have that x is equal to half. So this becomes the first value of our x. Now recall the second case. According to the second case, second case says that x squared plus x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. Record I wrote it somewhere. So we have x squared plus, now if we open this bracket, it's going to be x squared, right? Minus 2ab, that is 2 times x times 1, which is 2x, plus a, b squared, which is 1 squared, which is still give us 1, is equal to 0. So we have x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared, minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, at this point, we are going to make use of our quadratic equation formula to solve for the value of our x. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If you have not, please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying our video. 
all right so that you encourage the algorithm to push our video to more people that need to see it okay so we are going to say x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a yeah that this is the quadratic equation formula now our a is coefficient of x squared which is 2 our b is coefficient of x which is minus 2 and our c is our constant which is 1 so we are going to substitute this into this particular equation and we are going to have that x is minus minus 2 right plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared okay minus 4ac our a is 2 our c is 1 all right everything divided by 2a that is 2 multiplied by 2 okay so we have that x is equal to minus minus becomes plus plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 2 is 8 all right everything divided by 2 times 2 is 4 all right we need to clean this side of the board we found the first value of x as 1 over 4 right okay I'll be 1 over 2, sorry. Now we have that x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 4, right? Yes, because 4 minus 8, we give us minus 4 divided by 4. So we have x is equal to 2 plus or minus... Excuse me. Now, this root uh, minus 4 is sent in as root 4 multiplied by root minus one all right divided by four so we have x is equal to two plus or minus square root of four is two and square root of minus one is i divided by four now when you look at the numerator we can factorize two out so we bring out two two divided by two we give us one plus or minus two i divided by two we give us i divided by four now we can write, sorry, I don't know what entered my mouth. <laughs> okay, so we have that x is equal to, when 2 divides itself, we have 1, okay? When it divides 4, we have 2. Therefore, we have 1 plus or minus i divided by 2 left, right? 1 plus or minus i divided by 2. Therefore, the next value of our x is 1 plus i divided by 2. And the next value is 1 minus i divided by 2. So these are the values of our x. Thank you so much for watching.